Greetings everyone and welcome to Coffee Black, where the Voyager adventures continue on YouTube. I'm your host, Captain G, and this is the channel where we talk anything and everything Star Trek Voyager related, from trivia, news, reviews, and more. So before I get started on today's topic, I'd like to encourage new viewers to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check us out on X, formerly known as Twitter, and visit our Facebook page for more Voyager content. So for today's video, I'm going to do a breakdown of all the TNG cameos and references made in Star Trek Voyager. First cameo to make its way into the series was the appearance of John Delancey's Q. Q, of course, debuted in the Next Generation series and also previously appeared once on Deep Space Nine. Q appeared on Voyager three times, the first being Season 2, Episode 18, Death Wish. I didn't bring them here. Nothing to do with me. How did you get out, Q? I'm afraid we're responsible for that. Oh, well, I guess that's what we get for having a woman in the captain's seat. You know, I was betting that Riker would get this command. May I assume you're the Q I've heard so much about? Have you heard about little me? Oh, do tell. Has Jean-Luc been whispering about me behind my back? Q appeared again in Season 3, Episode 11, Q and the Grey where he tried to mate with Janeway to improve the Q Continuum, which placed Voyager in the middle of a Q Civil War. Q's final Voyager appearance was in Season 7, Episode 18, Q2, where he leaves his offspring with Janeway as a lesson, hoping Janeway could teach him responsibility. Another TNG-era cameo that appeared in Q's first Voyager appearance was Jonathan Frakes' William Riker. What the hell is going on? My apologies, Commander. To you all. My name is Catherine Janeway. Captain Janeway. The USS Voyager. This was Riker's only Voyager appearance, but Jonathan Frakes himself had a much larger role behind the scenes. Frakes directed three episodes of Voyager in its second season, directing the episodes Partuition, Prototype, and Projections. Season 2, Episode 3, titled Projections, saw a TNG reunion of sorts because of the appearance of Dwight Schultz's Lieutenant Barclay, or rather a creation of Barclay created by the EMH on the holodeck. Barclay appeared in a total of six Voyager episodes, Season 2, Episode 3, Projections, Season 6, Episode 10, Pathfinder, Season 6, Episode 24, Lifeline. Season 7, Episode 6, Inside Man. Season 7, Episode 19, Author, Author. And the Voyager finale, Endgame. In most of Barclay's appearances, he also interacts with another TNG alumni, Marina Sirtis's Counselor Troy. Her first appearance being in Pathfinder. Uh, Neelix. <laughs> Neelix. That's an unusual name. <laughs> Maybe we should introduce him to Data's cat, Spot. <laughs> she also appears in Season 6, Episode 24, Lifeline. Doctor? Yes, Haley, what is it? You have a visitor. Hello, I'm Deanna Troy. Which one of you is Dr. Zimmerman? Troy appears one final time in Season 7, Episode 6, Inside Man, when Barclay comes to her for help. <laughs> Red? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Where's Commander Riker? The last time I saw you, you were laughing, telling jokes. You even sang a duet with Data. <laughs> <laughs> that was Commander LaForge's birthday party. Another notable TNG cameo was the appearance of LeVar Burton's Geordie LaForge in Voyager's spectacular 100th episode, Timeless. This is Captain LaForge of the Starship Challenger. You seem to be in quite a hurry. Why don't you shut down those impulse engines, drop your shields? Let's talk about this face to face. Mind if I take a rain check? As a matter of fact, I do. We know what you're about to attempt, and we can't let that happen. So the Federation Council is willing to make you an offer. Hand over the Borg transmitter. Stand down your vessel. 
the charges of conspiracy will be dropped. In addition to the cameo, Burton also directed the episode, and over the course of the series, he directed eight episodes of Star Trek Voyager. Those episodes were Season 1, Episode 7, S Post Facto. Season 2, Episode 17, Dreadnought. Season 4, Episode 6, The Raven. As previously mentioned, Season 5, Episode 6, Timeless. Season 6, Episode 21, Live Fast and Prosper. And three episodes in Season 7, Nightingale, Q2, and Homestead. Another TNG reference appeared in Voyager's second season, 13th episode, Prototype, an episode where Bolana aids a sentient alien robot. What is his designated number? He has a name, like the rest of us. Data. Data. I would like to be acquainted with this data. Another notable TNG era appearance that some fans might have missed was the appearance of the Ferengi characters Arendor and Cole, played by Dan Shore and the late Leslie Nielsen. The Ferengi previously appeared in the TNG episode The Price, and this was referenced earlier on in the episode, even mentioning the Enterprise D. According to Starfleet computer records, approximately seven years ago, the Federation starship Enterprise hosted negotiations for ownership of the Barzan wormhole. Included among the bidding parties were two Ferengi, minor functionaries known as Aridor and Cole. So by the end of Voyager's third season, the Voyager crew had to face off with the Borg, and Janeway, in an attempt to prepare for their encounter, did research on the Borg, which led to her quoting Captain Jean-Luc Picard. At the moment, Q flung the Enterprise into the path of that first Q. To the massacre at Wolf 359. Every battle, every skirmish, anything that might give me an insight into the mind of the Collective. And? In the words of Jean-Luc Picard, in their collective state, the Borg are utterly without mercy, driven by one will alone, the will to conquer. They are beyond redemption, beyond reason. And speaking of the Borg, our final TNG reference was the inclusion of Alice Krieg as the Borg Queen in the Voyager finale Endgame. Krieg originally appeared as the Borg Queen, in the Star Trek Next Generation film, First Contact. And there you have it. That's all the TNG era cameos and references that I could find. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like to help support the channel and leave a comment as well. Let us know how you felt about all these cameos and references in the series. As always, I am Captain G and I thank you for watching. Take care. Live long and prosper.